All right, we're recording. I won't do Iowa because I don't want to wake up with an ice in my face. Right? That's like my biggest fear is like somebody's going to find me. Like Fox News and Cedar Rapids is coming down on Monday to do a story. And I'm like, okay, but you guys cannot shake the outside of my apartment at all or any. But if the, I mean, like the other day, somebody was over here that knew me from Iowa City, and they said, Brad Gillis, come right over here. And he was like, she's a guy. Yeah, he was right over there. Like, cleaned out my house. And I'm like, I told you, like, don't do that. Because somebody can just say they know me and be wanting to try to kill me. Avalon County, for loved ones feel at home. It's the Red Tag Clearing Cell going on now. Save hundreds of display models in all departments. Lifestyles Furniture, 5735, Avenue of the Cities, Moby. Here. It's starting to tweet out now. All of a sudden it's starting to be like, so this is, so... Let me get this straight. So you're, you're recording me watching myself on Dr. Phil. It's going straight to YouTube. There's HD, too. Oh, it's, this, I know it's... Alright. <laughs> they don't even say I'm from Iowa, which makes Good. It's better. We found out about a brand new internet service that will turn up your significant other for you. I just had to check this out. Take a look. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Bradley from I don't for you.com. <laughs> I plug in with Clint wants to break up with you. Uh, what happens is I get emails from my website. There's a form that people fill out. And yeah. I get the reason why one person is breaking up with you. So official. I'm calling you because <laughs> Bailey is dumping you because he found out that you were dumping him. What? I have a message from your fiance. She found emails that you've been sending her mother. <laughs> Lisa wanted me to call you and uh, tell you that she's breaking it off with you. I just want to make this really simple, okay? I just need you to understand that you've been broken up with. Do you understand that Clint is breaking up with you? Well, thank you very much for using I don't for you dot com. You got it right there. That's it's all that. They have, break up they have the website wrong on the site, and yeah. I call them for like you have the website wrong on the website. <laughs> okay, well, Bradley Laverman is the founder of the website. Bradley Laverman. Dumpforyou.com. Bradley, are you there? Yes, I am. What's the worst reaction you've ever had breaking up with somebody? Uh, the typical people say they they're gonna find me and hurt me. They want to find me and punch me in the face or kill me or something like that. But They want to kill the messenger, right? Yeah, they want, they want to hurt the messenger even though the somebody else is dumping them. Do you ever say to these people, uh, why are you such a gutless worm that you won't do this on your own or is that not a good marketing tool? It's, it's not a good marketing tool, but sometimes when people contact me and they don't give me enough good reasons on why they want to break up with the person, I'll refuse their service because they need to have good reasons why they want to break up, and sometimes that's just not happening. You charge different prices depending on the service that you want, right? It's like ten bucks for a significant other breakup. Oh no, they go to the prices. Twenty-five bucks for nice. an engagement. <laughs> and what do you get for fifty bucks? Uh, that would be a divorce call, which I've never had to do, and. Uh, you know, I hope I never have to do one. I've got two Wait, questions. Adam boy, Brad. <laughs> Tell me, are you, now. what would your reaction be? I am. I, it's going to happen. Bradley you got a call from Brad. And just said, I, hey, I'm calling to break up with you for your, your boyfriend. Yeah, I, I mean, had to hang up on him and find my boyfriend. And beat the shit out. Wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> it wouldn't be, because I think if somebody is that... I'm with should be open enough with me to say that they don't want to be with me anymore. And yes, rejection is one of the most painful things in the world. It always makes you feel like you're not good enough. See, I'm watching. Like, I'm nodding. Like I'm, I don't know if they're going to go back to me. People can't just say they don't want to be with someone because that's okay. We're not built to like everyone. You know, it's 
a test run. No, it didn't work out, but there always will. You can find someone else. Oh, you don't it's blown have up to. now. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna hit again when you hits the West Coast. with him numerous times on the internet. You just basically have changed your status from committed or in a relationship. So to were you hearing this? Like yeah, I, I was. What I was, I was you were seeing there. Like, like what you're seeing right now is exactly what I was seeing on the on laptop. Nice. Oh. So now that had a significant so impact. So breaking news, yeah. you're gone. I, I, logged in, I logged into my Facebook account one day. I mean, this was after an argument. I thought it was kind of over. I'm still thinking, you know, my girlfriend and I are cool. I'm, I'm all jolly. I log in, and I see my inbox is just filled with messages. And, you know, I think I wasn't putting the map down because I was in a relationship. So I'm like, okay, why, why am I getting all these random inbox messages? And all my friends are like, I'm so sorry. What happened? I thought you guys were so good together, and I checked my status. It just says in a relationship with mm, nothing, and with hers, it says single. So I'm like, what the heck? Is so you started putting the Mac down again? So not, no, not immediately. But oh it, was God, something, I mean, it was something I that I took. Brevin, are you, yes. in, are you in a relationship? No, I am not in a relationship. <laughs> Have you ever been? <laughs> yes, I have been in several relationships. Were the breakups person to person or te technological? How were the breakups? No, they, I, I'm one of the people, I wouldn't use my own service. I'll admit that I wouldn't use my own service, but sometimes there's situations where you've tried to break up with the person and they're not, they're not understanding it. Uh, you are too passive aggressive to break up with the person on your own, or maybe it's a possibility that you're afraid that the person might you know, physically harm you. I have to go to break, so I want to break up with Bradley. Would you tell him to leave? <laughs> there it is. Bradley, unfortunately, Dr. Phil no longer wants to talk to you because we have to go to break. Perfect. Next, a wife who spends more time on Facebook than she does uh, talking to you. Now I get, a, now I get officially say, I get officially <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, I get, I get officially say Kelly Osborne broke up with me. No, wait till, yeah. It, yo, I bet you had a divorce one out of all this. Yeah. What? I think you get a divorce one. I don't want a divorce out of this. You might have to do one though. I don't want to. You have to find someone hard, man. It's so, it's, but you guys want to see like a breakup, like an engagement breakup? My mom. <laughs> she better wait. talk to her. Talk to her. She can wait. Okay, so an engagement breakup is a lot different because, you know. You're not legally married to the person, or like a breakup, breakup. There's no big problem. And a divorce breakup, there's all this legal stuff. So I can say you're broken up, or that it's going to happen, but you know. But until they actually go through with it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What? I suppose I go back to work. I'll see you later, Brad. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, that's the next I said, where'd you get that sin? Would I get to get flown in to be witnesses for well, divorce trial? The problem is, this ain't a sandwich. It's a Ooh, that would be bad. <laughs> Very mad. How'd you come up with that logo? Where'd you get that? Like, don't call it a sandwich. How do you like to call it a sandwich? I, someone told me, you're going to do a choice of dumb balls. Right, right. We've got other ones now. Like I was working on the, we were working on the iPhone application for right now for you, and so we have some new ones because somebody went in and did some more. Like I did a three-dimensional little guy. I like the one had open. Yeah, and I, well, that's the one I first did, and I think I, um, I think I was on a website. And I, it was a, it was a picture, that picture was there, and was, the guy was throwing something away. And I thought, well, I'll just take that out, and I redid the trash can so it looked cleaner. Because when I found the picture, it was like this big. So I had to go and like, go to Photoshop and redo the whole thing. But yeah, I mean, it looks like I have a little sombrero guy for Jumbo de Mayo. <laughs> Jumbo de Mayo. Right. I'm gonna have all. So you do Spanish as well? No. no. <laughs> no. There you go. You need some pot speaking. But there you go. The plan is, I want to have. Uh, I want to. I want to group. I've got a bunch of recording calls already, and I want to get these five good ones where it's all based on drinking. 
deduct and then that line your eye for it. Don't put in my eyes. They will all be based on because the Valentine's Day week one ones went really well. Kelly says she's Kelly. usually so we focused on Facebook or some other electronic device day that she's basketball. never intimate with her husband Chris. In fact, right. as soon as Chris goes to sleep, Kelly 